Kelvin, Auburn's ability to execute at a high level offensively in the last 10 minutes, what did you see there? Broom shows you why he's a first team All-American. He's going to do that to a lot of teams. I've always, the way Broom was scoring, I mean, he had 20 points. He's going to have a lot of games this year at 20. The kid I thought that we, that went in and changed the game for them was Pettifer. I thought he was really, really good. He changed the game. And he did it in transition. We were up nine, and we had, I think, made a couple of substitutions. We got two guys off the bench in the game, and we had done a big point of emphasis preparing for this game was transition defense because Auburn is so good at it. They're really good at that. And we were awesome. First half, you know, I remember scoring. It was scored at a time. We were at five. You know, we missed, I mean, they banked two threes in. I think we missed five free throws. We were at five because of our rebounding and our transition defense. The second half, you know, still playing good. I wouldn't say anything better than that. Just good, solid maybe. But the Pettifer, when he came in the game, the game changed. And he really shot it well. I think last game he was 0 for 4. But the Kelly kid and the Jones kid, which tells you how good Auburn is, by the way. They can survive certain guys. You know, if you had told me that Jones was going to have four points, the Geese was going to have two points, Kelly was going to have five points, I'd say, you know, pretty good. But Pettifer had 21. That's a talented little dude. And Bruce has a really good team. There is no shame on our side. Had we won the game, this was not going to be any kind of bad loss for Auburn. It's certainly not a bad loss for us. It's a loss that we hope we can learn from. We lost to a really good team. But this is why we scheduled this game. You know, we could have went and played, you know, one of those other games and be 2-0. And people would run around here slapping us on the back, telling us how good we are, knowing damn well we're not. But tonight we got exposed in some areas that we've got to go back and figure out how we can get better and clear up some things. But today's November the 9th. You know, you have wins and losses. But then you have wisdom and learning. So that was a learning back for us. Joseph, you had a question? Yeah, when Bruce had mentioned specifically in the second half to shoot, I think they shot 57 or so. Pettiford and Broome got hot. Was there just them getting hot or was it anything you saw? Pettiford was getting hot, but they did a good job scheming. You know, not having the two-headed mind, Xavier is not ready to play. I think his injury is getting better. He's just not in game shape. He hasn't done anything since November the, I'm sorry, October the 11th. I think he missed 20-some days. So it will take him a while to get in shape. And Auburn is not an ideal opponent when you haven't, and when you've been off for three weeks, your first game back, you're having to play one of the best teams in the country. You have Kuki being back. Go ahead. Coach Sampson, did you walk here from Kuki being? Francis only played nine minutes tonight. Is there a reason for that? Yeah, his injury. Chris, you have a question? How did Milo's health trouble change what you guys wanted to do? Um... Yeah, I didn't think my, uh, Malik was as aggressive. But let's give you know, two good defenses out there. You know, when you're playing against a team like Auburn, it's like teams in the past against us. 
You know, a lot of teams have their worst offensive nights when they played Houston. That's not a knock on their offense. It's a, our, our defense is really good. And I think you said that a lot about Auburn tonight. You know, um, uh, a lot of teams can struggle against their, de- their, their length and their athleticism. Um, especially when we're breaking in a brand new point guard. You know, we, we've got to get down the road with, uh, get some games under our belt. This is game number two. So, um, I mean, we're going to get better as we go. But I'm so glad we played this game. It is, this is a, a, a great learning tool uh, for us. Uh, we weren't very good offensively tonight in a lot of ways. But their defense had a lot to do with that. But, you know, the first half, they scored 28 points. A lot had to do because of our defense, you know. Your, your, your offense always will look great against bad defensive teams. Against good defensive teams, you've got to get to a point where you can uh, execute against that um, uh, that level, and that takes time. And yeah. uh, I have no doubt that our kids will get there. That's that particular point. Chris, go ahead. Juan, well, what are your thoughts on going against Janai Broom in that battle with him? Um, competitive. Uh, we played against him, you know, two years ago in the tournament, same thing. So, um, just going against a guy like him, you know, just kind of brings out the best out of both of us. So, um, I just, right now, about playing against him is just back on team. I got the one more question. Um, Jamar, um, the only game like this is very early on in the season. How do you plan to move forward? <clears throat> now that the pass will get a little more hard. Josh. Uh, like Coach said, you know, learning. You know, this is our second game. Um, I honestly don't think this game defines our season. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, when we get back to, you know, the Fatida and watch film, you know, it's a lot of stuff that we got to work on. And I'm um, trying to get better for the next game. So, um, you know, losing this game, uh, like I said, it really doesn't define our season. So just moving forward, just uh, try to get healthier uh, and just trying to learn from our mistakes. Okay, thank you.